WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida, with your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the upside. It's a sea of green. The Dow up 192 points, about six tenths. The S&P is up 1 percent, 44 points. The Nasdaq 100, nearly 2 percent. Same with the uh, Russell, really 1 and 9 tenths percent, 233 and 34 points, respectively. Semis are up 2 and a half percent. That's 75 points to the upside. Gold's off 23, up 23 bucks. That's a buck and a uh, one and uh, one and a quarter percent silver, one and eight tenths or forty cents. Slice we crude up a buck fifty nine, one and four tenths there. Thirty year treasury is flat at one thirty eight twenty. Let's go see what all that means out there as we take explore our nine panel market update chart. Oh, that was the wrong chart out there. Let's get to the nine panel market update chart. Here we go. So in the upper left hand side, you've got the ES mini. Now the profile we looked at yesterday did not take hold, but a new one is attempting to form. Same game plan here. We will not get confirmation until this evening. But right now we know where buyers and sellers reside. The buyers are between 3905 and 3971. The sellers are at 4037, and we're trading right now at 4144. So, odds favor that this profile will not. Uh, it's act actually, it's shifted again. Holy Toledo. So now it's back below the bottom. Wow, that's weird. So, uh, anyways, the, the profile that's in there right now is a bullish profile because price is above that level. Well, we'll take a look at that more during the uh, Trader's Edge show. So that has shifted within the last half hour. Spot volatility, X, that's a key indicator for us. It's trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 27.23. Price right now at 24.65. That says that the S&P should continue to move higher, ES Mini as well. The NQ is trading into its resistance zone, and that zone is between 12.622 and 12.995. The U.S. dollar index, it is uh, trading inside a new profile that formed out here. So level of support is at 101.28, resistance 102.38. Goldilocks uh, trading into its resistance zone from its daily set of profiles out there. And we'll watch the 1879 level. If price can close above 8, I'm sorry, yeah, 1879, then gold should make its way to 1980. Silver is trading above the center right now, just trading above the center of its weekly profile. That has been resistance, 22.26. Close above 2226 today, which suggests to move to 2276. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. And join us tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning sharp. Between 8 and 9, we'll be recording the Trader's Edge Show. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. Sharpening your skills as an investor.